Man, I can't believe that someone would actually commit murder on a movie set. I mean, anything is possible. I just wonder what would drive them to do it. What if they, like, switched a fake gun with a real gun and the guy shot someone? Delusional. What? He's calling you stupid Biden. Guns wouldn't even make it past the entrance. What type of movie were they filming here? It looks like some type of silly rom-com, if I'm being honest. Well, I would believe you if there wasn't a murder on this set, so weapons had to be involved with this film. Ooh, imagine if it was a new Spider-Man movie that would be so amazing. Don't get your hopes up. We haven't confirmed anything yet. Stupid orange hair bastard. Huh? I can't wait to beat the slow out of you, you yellow-wide body bitch. Never talk about slow to Donald ever again. You can't even retain your memories. Biden, it's over for your political career. Look at this old hermit. How did you get the Medal of Freedom when your own body is being restricted by the amount of time you have lived on this earth? Oh, wow, I want to use one of those cameras. Hey, purple shirt, let me use that camera there. See what I mean, Donald? He is a liability. Just like I drew it up. I don't even know how to respond to Biden anymore. Let's just move on. The crime scene shouldn't be too far from here. If there is no ice cream involved, then I believe that I will not be able to help you guys in this case. And what exactly do we need you for? Damn. Well, uh, 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 oh, I mean, I provide value by helping you guys escape dangerous situations. We are the presidents of the United States of America, and we have been assigned to this case by the United States government, so please move aside. You're gonna have to force me, buddy. They tried to kill me, too. Did you not hear my mans? Move aside, damn it. What are you going to do? You can't hurt me. I don't trust you guys, hey, Trump, and if you touch me... Chin. Don't ever waste my time again, so it seems like there was a tiny bit of struggle in this scene, and a knife or some very long, sharp object was the weapon used. But that still isn't enough information. The guy is clearly a sociopath because he left notes everywhere, so I guess that's something. Hey, Donald Trump, let me talk to you. I have some information. So I'm guessing the guy with the red and black suit, as you guys described in the call, is far gone, right? Never mind. Well, in reality, we really have no idea what's going on. We were just told to hold a spot, so... Let me make something clear. For the one time, never call our line again if you have no information on the man in red. All right, sir, I'm sorry. So I'm guessing you know who it is, Donald. Why would they even ask us to visit the scene if they have no information? We need you guys to head to a fresh murder scene that just happened at the La Puerta dock. Witnesses said that they saw a man in a black and red suit, and we need you guys to go intercept that as soon as possible. Witnesses also told us that the man seems to have some unusual supernatural abilities. All right, over. We will head there as soon as possible. No additional backup required. All officers currently there should stay there until all of this is cleared up and wait before you alert the people about a masked murderer. We don't want to start public outcry. When did you become such a natural leader? If I see one more baddie at another crime scene, I'm going to turn up and cheat on my wife, guys. Look at this man, hey, Biden. Instead of being such a damn nuisance, you little bitch, how about you grow up damn if this is who I think it is, we may have a little trouble dealing with them. Let's just hope that we don't have to deal with anyone, non-human guys. I really want to go to Duncan after this. Stay on high alert. Remember, the dispatcher said that they were seen near this area not too long ago, so that means they shouldn't have gone far. If I see an unwrapped dead body, someone I swear I will whoop one of you guys with no mercy. Better yet, Trump, I should show you how my belt works. You ain't gonna do nothing, buddy. Hey, everyone watching this crime scene, get back inside of your damn houses before something happens to you guys, because I can only guarantee one person's safety, and that is mine. Hey, you guys did wrap the body. Oh my gosh, all of you on this scene, you are all getting fired permanently. Because what type of job is this? No one wants to see this crap, you nasty bastards. I'm sorry, Mr. President, but no one asked for your opinion. Talk to me like that again. Shut your ass up. Mr. President, I love you, Trump 2024. Tracy B. Hensfall, and you live in Los Santos by the beach, and you have a family of three, and your husband works as a firefighter, and you work as a nurse. Consider both of your jobs gone. You know, after piecing the little amount of evidence I had on you, and the obvious fact that no one is as crazy as you, and the movie is literally based on you, I quickly came to the conclusion that you are the murderer Deadpool. I thought Deadpool was an anti-hero. Why would he kill a random innocent person like that and cold bloody chop their head off clean too? Well, a lot of people when they get supernatural abilities become delusional and their mind gets frayed, causing them to turn into sociopaths. And that's what we want to avoid. The best course of action for us right now is stopping his regeneration. I think we will be able to deal with that. Just don't worry about it right now. We need to get onto the roof and restrain him as soon as possible. Hey man, if anything happens to me, you are the one I'm blaming Trump. Shut up, damn. Shit!
He's gone. I was hoping to restrain him so we could figure out a way to bypass his regeneration. But I can't just be wasting bullets. We need a game plan to catch the guy lacking. Look at that smug man running away from the scene of the crime. This can't be a repeat of Michael Myers. We need to take him out promptly. The sooner we take him out, the sooner we can go get our Duncan and live our lives. Hey, I know a way to get past his regeneration. It's actually pretty simple as long as you land headshots. It should bypass his regeneration because the sniper we gave you has special properties that disables powers. We can't let him go on any longer. We need you to assassinate him. He has the power to overthrow our entire nation and a threat like this can't be overlooked. All right, but the man who died was an FBI agent, Mr. Carter. Before we do anything, we should at least inform the department about their loss and try to figure this whole situation out with the chief before we do anything that's too rash. You know his name? Was he a friend? Yes, and when I see Deadpool, he's done. Ah! Hey, Donald Trump, are you all right? Me and Barack are just going to take the stairs because you are slow, but anyway. Can you stop making fun of me already? All right, guys, just so you remember, we are going to talk to the chief of the FBI, and we are going to catch him up. Please, for the love of everything, do not tell him about any of the things we have done in the past month, or else we may be in massive trouble with the government. I'll have you know that I am entitled to say whatever I want because I am a citizen of the United States, and you cannot take that right away from me. You hear Chris Griffin. To be honest, I don't care about what rights you have. My job is to protect the United States of America. Even though protecting rights is included, I don't have to listen to you because this may affect ahead, the Mr. country President. as a whole, so I don't give a damn. I hope you do realize that's Biden's job not yours because you did lose to him in the 2020 election, or did you forget that? Better yet, let me remind you, Donald J. Trump, that you are still being federally charged, so never talk about protecting the rights of the people again. Keep yapping, and I won't buy you shit later, you hear me, Barack. Like, can I ever get some peace? Mr. President, second door to your left, I believe that we have some important things to discuss about Deadpool. Damn deep-ass voice, Chief. Don't act childish around him. This man is basically the head of this whole Says the FBI man who's saying operation. it to their face. And personally, I don't want to mess with the kind of information they have. All right, sir, let me break down everything that happened. So first we were called onto a movie set where a crime scene occurred. We walked into the RV and we saw a bunch of notes, a knife and blood. Then we went to another recent murder scene and found a dead body, which I deduced the murderer to be Deadpool, as he is the only person who I know is that brutal. So I'm wondering if you were privy to this information. Yes, I knew all of that because earlier he sent me a letter saying he's going to assassinate my son. I need you three damn hooligans to take your asses to the concert that's happening in Vinewood and intercept him and finally put an end to Deadpool for us. You know what? I'm the president of the United States, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., and I will not let you order my colleague like that. I'll make it clear you work for me, and I will fire you whenever I want to. Why is your voice so raspy? Do you need some water, or maybe I can grab you a mint? His voice is raspy because he keeps yelling all the time like he always does. Stay off the cigarettes, man. Remember, this operation is vital for ensuring the future of this nation. Us and the Federal Bureau of Investigation are putting all our hopes in you guys. And you better not mess it up. We believe that you guys will be able to assassinate Deadpool and save my son. Don't worry, we will be able to complete this mission, but I better see a massive difference in my bank account balance when I'm done doing your dirty work. At least Deadpool and Wolverine is finished, so we will be able to see it in the theaters even when he's gone. Hey, Mr. President, he's in the area. Just be careful and make sure that he doesn't see you. I think the best bet is for you to get on top of a roof and try to snipe him down instead of being close and personal. There's nothing stopping him from going through your bulletproof vest. We understand that, dispatcher, but we have to scan the area ourselves so Donald knows where exactly everyone is standing so Donald doesn't accidentally shoot someone who's not Deadpool because we all know his aim is terrible compared to mine. Hey, guys, have you ever thought that maybe instead of us being the ones assassinating, he's, I don't know, maybe has been trying to assassinate I us I hope you realize you're a bitch. He has had multiple opportunities to take us out, but Tell he my always hesitates that I'm busy. for some reason, knowing that if I shoot at him, he will be finished. I don't really give a damn about you guys think if you are hunting you should always be ready to be hunted just make sure my son's safe don't worry about the police i told the department to not dispatch calls in the area so you can flee the scene without having to deal with
with cops. Yeah, guys, this is bad. We need to get to the roof as soon as possible. I think I may have spotted Deadpool quick before he finds us and snipes us. Wait, I heard Ice Spice may be coming out to perform her new song. Not anymore, buddy. Now listen clearly and don't mess this up. As soon as you aim for the head and a bullet lands, his powers will be disabled for a short time. So once you do that, you want to shoot him again as fast as possible to make sure he's finished. And also, since he got off the roof, he's probably somewhere in the crowd looking for my son. So hurry. You know what I'm getting tired with you. How about you leave me alone? I do whatever I want and I do it at my own pace. You hear me, so never order me around. As soon as I see that Deadpool, he's finished for killing innocent lives. I swear I just need to find the man. This is just like that one game. Uh, 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 I think it was called Ispy with my little red eye or something. I don't know, he's red. Hey, I found the target, I repeat dispatch. And FBI, I have found the target and I'm taking him out right now as we speak shit. I ran out of ammo. Well, I guess a grenade launcher will do. Hey, Donald, I think that's enough. I'm pretty sure we completed the mission so you can stop blowing up the concert. You aren't an exception, Barack. I do whatever I want. Uh... We completed this mission and you still haven't changed. Me and Hussein are going to take the stairs again, so good luck, Donald. All right, let me make sure he's really dead. I wonder what would happen if I used one of his swords. Actually, no, I don't want anything of hey, his. Hey, Donald Trump, let me tell you something you should hear. Never, and I mean never interrupt or get into my business ever again in your damn life. You are worth nothing. Me and my father own you, so you better get your worthless self out of my vicinity. You just ruined the concert for me, and I will never forgive you. All right, sure. The only reason the cops are after you is because my son told me that you shot him. Now I know how you truly act, and I never want to see you near me or my son ever again, or else there will be major consequences. You have done nothing for us tonight. Stay as our lapdog, you hear me, so don't get any damn funny ideas. Why is he yapping? We didn't shoot his son, man. You know what? Didn't he say something about being hunted or something like that? Obominator go. Cards on him? All right, then. The game plan is we are going to storm that building and we are going to deal with him for all the pain he has caused us today. And we can't even go to Duncan anymore because it's way past their closing time because this bastard has been ordering us around, which I will not accept anymore. Since you're yelling, I'm going to yell too. We have been oppressed today. We have been pushed by these corrupt people. I don't even know why we teamed up with them in the first place. We are going to storm upstairs and we're going to take them down for wasting our time because his son wasn't even grateful for us saving his damn life. He could have ended up like all of those other people, but no, he wanted to be entitled. Finally, someone who gets it, Barack, say it louder for the people in the back. Y'all are finished, buddy. You won't do anything. Oh, really? Now, what was that about me not doing anything? How about instead of wasting our damn time, you become a good parent and teach your son some manners? You corrupt piece of garbage. How about you eat this Screw instead? You, Donald Trump. This should teach you guys an important lesson. We have higher authority above all of you, so never mess with the presidents ever again. Yeah, and you ruined my Ice Spice concert. Tell them. What did I say about wasting my time? 